okay. A two zoom comes up, he did. Tum tap tap, good bang booing. Let's saw the chin suka. Tum tap tap in song to now, sir. Australia.
Yes, let me put this in the middle of this. Yes, among us ago. Yes, among us ago. While he takes his position to the stage, uh, we are going to invite him, um, who is Mr. Bian Lilian, who will be talking about Chin National Day speech. For those who, like myself, are still not too sure or not familiarised, this is a time to turn all ears and listen to and educate what today really is about. Um, so, yeah, why don't we have a massive round of applause for Mr. Bian. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to acknowledge the special elements of this land. I also would like to acknowledge our special guest, Assistant Treasurer, and a friend of our community, and also a good friend that shared on me the stuff for education. Um, a brief history on the Chin National Day. Um, Chin people, we, we came from the northwestern part of Burma, Myanmar. Our ancestors came from Tibet many centuries ago. Um, in the past, uh, we had many different tribes ruled by tribal chiefs. Uh, which is passed on from father to son and uh, exactly 74 years ago today um, the representatives of uh, Chin people had a meeting they discussed and they decided to abolish this uh, heretical rule and replaced by democracy we have been celebrating that day as uh, Chin National Day ever since. Today is the 74th anniversary. Um, in Australia, there are about uh, over 15,000 Chin currently, of which over 10,000 are in uh, Victoria. Yeah, guys, can you Australia to Western part of Melbourne? Um, most of us came as uh, refugees, yeah, you know, after fleeing the military rule in Burma as a refugee to that country and then we came here. Um, we would like to resettle and integrate into the society, but we also want to maintain our identity, culture and language. And uh, we believe that, we strongly believe that uh, celebrating Chin National Day every year help us that that's the reason we're doing that today but as you know Burma's, Burma was ruled by military dictatorship for over half a century and uh, from 19 oh, sorry 2015 up to last year we enjoy a brief uh, democracy and then military state a coup again in February last year. Uh, as you know, uh, people completely reject the coup. A lot of people join uh, 
protest, some join a uh, civil disobedience movement, and some took up um, to fight against ministry. And Chin people are doing basically the same. Um, in uh, less than a year, the military killed over 1,500 people. Including women and children, and uh, yes. some Not of them were tortured to death. Not just killed, so they suffer a lot. Yes, not like not here, not surely here. I'm going to say, but then the West and East are going to say. Ten people killed. All right. Um. The number of ten people killed. You watch and I'm going to watch about. One hundred and sixty-three. Speech and I hope to call the media. Of the total killed. And uh, uh, Chin people make up less than two percent of the population. So what that tells us is that if you are chin in Burma right now, you are you have five times more likely chance of getting killed <laughs> by your military than the average person. Not only they kill the uh, military also uh, targeted civilians. They bomb using aircraft, they use uh, heavy artillery, they torch homes, and then uh, as a result, over uh, uh, half a million, 500,000 people are displaced within this country, and maybe 3,000 have fled to India and Thailand. So the situation is very well getting worse by the day and uh, the military also torch about 6,000 homes and as I said they torture, they rape, uh, you know, they abuse, they deny medical treatment to their prisoners so it's it's very bad. Um, what we want, what the people in Burma and what Chin people inside and outside the country, what we want is a, a federal democracy system in which everyone's the same, regardless of uh, race, religion, color, or language, or system of belief. We believe in uh, one vote, one person, one vote, equal vote, and the people in Burma, including Chin people, are determined to get that. Uh, to achieve that, we all need to be uh, united and work as one. And uh, I would like to to ask all of us here to to remember that and uh, be united from now on. And if we do that, we will we'll succeed. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you so much to PM for sharing the reason why, exactly the reason why we are celebrating today our 74th annual Chin National Day. Again, I want to invite everyone and welcome you guys again that has just joined us. Today is the day we make the biggest noise and today is the day we celebrate with pride. And while we have all these stores, please do make a use of all the stores. Um, just little one announcement again, the toilet, there are portable toilets available <laughs> and that will be right at the back and near the food second, store. So second please plan, get that work up it, it. chill, um, have fun, and that is exactly what we are going to do. That's right. So, อ่าก็จะนั้นมูลเลยดาวน์โหลดกันละจึงออกได้กันมาทันอุ้มไลฟ์โรลโพลันโซนักปองอ่ะทันสไลด์เอ่อโรลซองจอโคสีไอ้โ
TV, Shin Community in Victoria, children, Salamu youth, Salamu children, Tonda Kutapak Swag, children dance, Kutbengu in Songhao Si. Kenzapi Kutbengu in Songhao Si. Pai um gol, a tia já lhe sangrou um dele, pai já um cinco, lhe já tang pai um lhe, lá te quer que life dele guys. A tia já mal bon, mal bon em apoio campeão bem assim. Um, de chua lá ele, de tang lá ele, que tem dito já, com a, que nem fundi, tu com já. Main stress bakal lama cuma kan tua kerja. Nenek tanya apa mah? Jadi tu nak kerja kerja kampiak sana ha? Ya, bukan ni sangat payah um tila, singkoh payah um la, zatang payah um la. Oi pai de mi la iram can can no ama La iram amoy de si lo chan de
guys, nak sini tinggal lagi ruang sini lama cungen tua misi lama cungen umi akan cungen cut nak. Tapi siapa kata lo? I believe so as well. And as we all come together, I think it's so good seeing these children, uh, the younger generation, representing who they are and their identity in showcasing the traditional dances. And what we're going to do today is see a lot of that uh, through our cultural dances and as we celebrate our unity, our unity, but also our, our identity as well. So we are going to see a lot more. So stay tuned. I know that. Um, some of you guys are sitting down already, but feel free to sit down, but just not on the mat. That's for the special occasion. But um, I think generally we're pretty fit, so um, I don't think three hours of standing will change anything much. So um, just keep focusing as we um, indulge in celebration, uh, celebrating our 74th International National Day. Yes, thank you. Australian Shin Community, Eastern Melbourne Children Dance. Put that on so tanasi. Um, right before we do invite the cultural dance uh, being performed by Australian Chin community of Eastern Melbourne, <laughs> this will showcase not just Thank the cultural guys. dance, but what is going on back home. Um, so we want to get your attention, both ears, both eyes, to the front, and let's Welcome them on the stage with a round of applause, the loudest club that we will ever hear. Let's go! Best 
Und ich habe den Dormis sehen. Yes, I'm not sure 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 um, here, both of us, um, we really, really want us to encourage that whatever's going on back in Burma, let's not forget it. Let's not forget on this joyous day as we celebrate, let's not forget what is going back home. And that was a good representation through the culture of dance. So thank you so much to the youth. <laughs> อ่านิพนธ์ปีนี้กันจองลมสมันเซโลกันโกรมาอาจารย์มีค่ะผิวชุ่มๆหน้าเราสิ <laughs> So we are going to continue with our program this afternoon. Um, right before we introduce this guest, who is well known, who is a great friend to the community, uh, we all know him, we all 
seen him, especially on social media, um, a great friend of ours. We are going to invite on the stage, on his way, the Honourable Michael Suka, who is a member of the Parliament, who is a member for Deakin in Victoria, Assistant Treasurer, Ministry for Housing, uh, and also for Homelessness, Social and Community Housing, who represents Liberal Party of Australia, House of Representatives, Representative. We are going to welcome him like no other welcome. And what I'm going to do is, even though he's always here, I'm just going to ask him to remain standing there. And I'm going to ask every person that is sitting down, we are going to stand up and we are going to give him the limey respect that we give to our guests. We are going to give him the biggest applause that we are going to have ever been received by our guests this afternoon. So I'm going to invite all of us standing and we're going to give him the loudest welcome that has anybody in this guest has received. So, everybody, please welcome the Honourable Michael Suka. Well, that's the best introduction I've ever had in my life. Thank you so much, and congratulations to our wonderful so MCs. Good. Firstly, can I congratulate the organising committee for this event. Um, the celebrations for Chin National Day get bigger and bigger every year, and I never imagined it would be as big as this, and I never imagined we'd close down Main Street Croydon. So congratulations to our organising committee. Please put your hands together again for them. Thank you. Well done. You've done a wonderful job. Could I um, acknowledge some great friends and great supporters of the Chin community and indeed our entire community. David Hodgett is here, our local Look member the of Croydon, whose office is right there, as well as our Deputy Mayor Rob Steen. Rob, thank you for being here as well. And I'm sorry if I miss anyone, but I did see Councillor Paul and Paul. All great supporters of the Chin community and thank you. And I see Councillor Tony did down the back to Tony, thank you for your great support. Can I thank Pian for that wonderful explanation of Chin National Day and why we're celebrating the 74th um, annual Chin National Day today. And at a time when there are so many people suffering in Burma, I think it is good to remember that we're celebrating today a movement of democracy, a day where we mark the moment where democracy for the Chin people was something that was put in place. And I must say, uh, when I look out um, on days like today, but indeed every single day, uh, that the Chin community here, particularly in my electorate, but throughout Melbourne and throughout the east of Melbourne, you have been some of the most successful migrants to this country. And I want to congratulate you on what you have done in not only building your own community, but actually contributing to our broader community. There are very few places I go where I don't see representatives of our Chin community. So put your hands together. Congratulations for the great work that you've done for us. Can I say also it's very special to be here today given the difficulties that are being faced uh, throughout Burma, but particularly in Chin State. And uh, Pyang Lilian took us through some very sobering statistics. And I know as a community you provide so much support to friends, family, loved ones who are still in Chin State. And I can say the federal government has done everything we can to denounce the uh, outrageous aspects of the military uh, junta in Burma. Um, but days like today, I think highlight to the world um, and even highlight to one another if you need it reminding of the strength and the resilience in your community that you've been able to come to Australia, establish yourselves, um, have a highly successful new group of youth coming through uh, and to be able to hold events like today I think shows the maturity in the Chin community here in Victoria and indeed in other parts of Australia. So we're here to continue to support you, continue to work with you. First and foremost, you help yourselves, which is what we're very proud of. But um, I'm very pleased to have walked along 
this journey with you for nearly 10 years and um, even I'm surprised some days at just how outstanding the Chin community has been able to do and I look forward to the next 10 years where we see your community go from strength to strength. And whilst we've closed down half of Main Street today, maybe in the future we'll close down all of Main Street for such a huge celebrations. Congratulations. Happy Chin National Day. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for such encouragement uh, speech done by our great friend Michael. And one thing that he said that I love was the maturity that he has seen in our Chin community. And I think that's what's all about. We are here to establish a new ground here and we are gonna mature even to a greater level. And thank you so much. That was such a great encouragement, not just for myself, but the next generation that are listening, that we are gonna keep maturing um, and make an impact in this community, not just the community in the local, but also the country that we are in. And we are gonna keep maturing and make impact and differences. Thank you so much again, Michael. You are absolutely right, Vantamal. Um, you know, we see that you support us. You never fail to show at our events. And not only we feel that, we see that you support us. So, really, thank you to Mr. Michael Sucker again. Atutu, pasang nam nam pong ngay chan ha laye. Okay, so this yeah, uh, going to get the crowd going. I think we're going to move. Um, we're definitely going to dance. Um, it's to give you a hint. It is definitely Chin Song of the Year. Chin Song of the Year award winners. And what we're going to do? Let's play a little game before we invite them. Since my great friend here is a exceptionally, wonderfully, beautifully uh, good singer. So, um, why don't, I reckon you're going to sing a line and see if they can continue the line. I'm How sure they will. Okay. Okay. Ready? Count me down. Count me down. One, two, three. <laughs> The only participant that we had was our great friend Priscilla. Um, but uh, what we're going to do, I reckon the countdown is a little bit off. So what are we going to do is, what we're going to sing, well, let's actually teach them the song. Yeah, all right. We, we are going to proudly say, Timmy Casina. But Timmy Casina. Okay, so, all right. Um, let's do, how's the key? Good? All right, all right. Alright, everyone, let's open our mouth. I mean, we all know the song, but you're just nervous, but don't worry. Okay, ready? One, uh, I'll sing and then you follow me. Alright. One, two, Tim Mixina. No, no, you follow my name, so let's practice. Let's practice. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Tim Mixina. But you have Tim Mixina. Whoa, can we say it with more like. Energy, you know, energy. All right, ready? One, two, three. Chin me casino. Whoa. Okay. It's slightly better, but I think I hear more vocals from here. But let's do it one more time. But the loudest thing we can do, all right? One, two, three. Chin me casino. I'm gonna CBN on live. Pace down on CBN on live live. And turn whoa, LLB whoa, channels whoa. on my life. Okay, I think we are going to go off, so why don't we give the round of applause, the biggest round of applause to the encounters as they take the stage. Thank you. Derek, I'll be uh, LLB channels on life go, turn CBN, CBN uh, pace on life go.
Alright, guys, 